Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. This week, I want to piggyback from the tip that we shared last week about storage and kind of keeping an eye on that. And I want to talk about keeping an eye on your functionality as well. You know, one of the things that a lot of people do wrong is when they're about to install a solution or an application or a piece of functionality that can drastically change their solution and affect it, even break it, uh, if anything, is they don't take a backup. And I think that a lot of people get complacent with the fact that Microsoft takes backups of our Dynamics 365 and Power Platform environments every day. So because they do that automatically, you feel like if something happens, you can always revert back to those backups. But the problem is that those backups get taken at the same time every day, which means that if they're taking overnight, for example, depending on where you're watching this video from, if you're doing something, let's say at 3 p.m. in the afternoon or 3 in the afternoon, 4 in the afternoon, something like that, as you know, in, in some cases, people wait until the users are out of the office to do it and you implement something or move something into production or a sandbox environment or whatever it is. And then, you know, something is broken. Now, the last backup that you have is the one from yesterday, which means that all of the work, all of the records, all of the things, the changes that happen throughout the day, that day will be lost if you restore the backup from the day before. So today's tip is all about how can you create a manual backup? So let's start the countdown and let's go. So here I am at the Power Platform Admin Center. And as you can see, um, I have selected, I've clicked on environments and I have a list of the environments that are available to me. So all I have to do is select the environment that I want to back up. So if I'm going to move something into, let's say, this training environment, I select that environment and then there you have it, backups. So I can create or restore from a previous backup if I need to. Now, notice that this training environment is a sandbox environment, but the Elevate Solutions environment here is a production environment. Now, why do I point that out? You can, you can clearly, you can back up either one of them. There's no problem. You can back up production and sandbox environments. But I wanted to show you this because this is interesting. Look, this is on the Microsoft Docs website. Um, I want to talk about how long will you keep a backup one, once you take it. So once you get a backup of one of your environments, let's say because you're you know, moving some functionality there or whatever it is, how long will you be able to keep that backup? Well, it all depends on what kind of environment you have and what kind of application you have on that environment. Check this out. So if you take a backup of a sandbox environment, you will be able to retain that for up to seven days. So that's it. That's how long you can keep a backup of your sandbox environment. If you take a backup manually of a production environment, if you're using Dynamics 365, the system will keep that backup for 28 days. I don't know why they didn't just make it 30 days, but I guess it's four weeks. All right. So one week if you're using a sandbox, four weeks if you're using if you take the backup of a production environment. But if you don't have a Dynamics 365 app installed on that environment, on that production environment, meaning you created your own app, you're using model-driven applications, and it's just a power platform environment with Dataverse, and you have your applications on top of it, then it goes back to just seven days. So regardless of whether you are on a sandbox environment, you're, you're getting a backup of your sandbox environment, or you're getting a backup of your production environment, you can only keep it for seven days. So if you take a backup, obviously plan to do the work, right? In, implement the solution, migrate, do whatever it is that you took the backup for, right? That is kind of your safety. So get it done. Don't just take a backup, wait like a week to do something because then your backup will be gone. Plus it will be outdated, right? You want to take a backup because you're getting ready to do something and you don't want to miss out on all of the work that took place right before you, you know, made your move. So Please hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying these tips. It really helps me out. We just crossed over the 1,500 subscribers. I hope you enjoyed the tip this week, and we'll see you next week.